Good morning, folks. We've seen a significant earthquake uptick right on time, but first let's run down the sun. Despite the gorgeous CME you see leaving over the northeastern limb, the earth-facing disk was much more calm. The thin, dark plasma filaments facing earth have all stayed put. Let's go over to spaceweathernews.com. We can see that the solar flaring is on a slight rise. This is due to increased sunspot activity on the disk. No major magnetic mixing yet in the umbras, but these spots are getting there. And these down south do need another day for visibility. Solar wind is relatively calm. We expect a coronal hole stream in a few days, but until then, we are all calm at Earth's magnetic shield. The coronal hole down south directly faced Earth yesterday, and the quake watch hit its peak. We kick off with a 6.4 in China. Luckily, it was about 100 miles from the closest city. Then, the number one Earth spot location on Earth got into it. The Philippines tossed a six magnitude shakeup on the board as one of those tropical systems swung right past the island nation, I'm actually going to go north towards Japan. While I'm here though, Guam should be on alert. And our third storm is sitting atop these islands and not moving quickly. I would not want to be there right now. Couple top stories. First is on NASA predicting a huge gamma ray burst in 2018 due to the close approach of two stars. Details at the link found below. Luckily, the pair is about 5,000 light years away, so I guess technically we're just waiting for its arrival. Also, Hubble's given us a brand new look at NGC 1333, I should say looks, plural. Click the Rosetta link to learn more about sinkholes and water jets on there. I've got two more from the ESA on the list as well, one about the asteroid hunting mission, and then Sentinel-2's first picks, all linked for you down below. Anyway, in the United States, you see the same convergence where air masses meet, shifted slightly south for tonight's major alerts. I will also challenge everyone to go on satellite and find the primary southwest Pacific warning at this convergence line over New Zealand, and then two over Europe, one at the convergence offshore and the other at the channel bend here between the UK and Scandinavia. Got your current conditions and shots of our star to close? It's nice when the earthquake watch hits without killing anybody, isn't it? It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.